Squarespace gives you everything you need to create an amazing website. Starting at just $8 per month, the Squarespace service gives you all the tools you need to design your website without needing to learn code. That price also includes hosting, and it's so good that I actually use Squarespace for the Geekanoids website. You can try it free for 14 days by visiting squarespace.com forward slash Geekanoids. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my Dell Alienware X51. Now, you will have seen me unbox this in a previous video. It's a really nice looking machine, nice and compact. And in this video, I'm gonna be running some benchmarks. Before I do the benchmarks and show you the Windows Experience score, I'll just tell you that this is an Intel Core i5-2320 CPU running at three gigahertz. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM, an Nvidia GeForce GT545 graphics card with one gig of VRAM on board, and it's also got uh, a one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive in here. So let's have a look at the Windows Experience Index Score, and then we move on to a Unigine Heaven DX11 benchmark. So I've just come in nice and close on the screen for you now to show you how the Windows Performance Index has actually scored. You can see here the CPU scored 7.4 out of a possible 7.9. The RAM 7.6, the graphics card 7.2, uh, the gaming graphics memory, so it's got dedicated memory but it also shares system memory as well, is saying it's 4095 megabytes and it's scoring at 7.2. And the overall score is only let down by the hard drive which is 5.9. Now with these Windows Experience indexes it's always the lowest performance component of the system that gives you the overall score of 5.9. So swapping out that primary hard disk could well improve this system performance a great deal. Now we're going to run the Unigine Heaven DX11 benchmark program and see how this actually performs with regards to overall system performance. Now I will be speeding this up during this benchmarking because it does run for quite a long time. You can see here down in the bottom right hand corner it runs a total of 26 tests and then it will give us frames per second, average frames per second and an overall system score as well. So let's sit back while this completes the benchmarking and then I'll come back to you with the final result. So you can see here we're coming up to the final test, so 26 of 26, and then it will give us the final result. And really interested to see how this system has performed. So now it's just sort of loading the results up, and let's give you a closer look at these results. That is a very respectable score. We've got frames per second, 26.6, minimum frames per second 15.7, maximum frames per second 56.5, and an overall score of 670. Now that's not the most uh, highest performance score you're ever gonna see from a PC, not by any means, but for, for the Dell Alienware X51, which is a compact system with that sort of lower rated mobile processor really, that is a more than respectable score and this will run most games at very high settings. So thanks very much for watching this video. Please do hit that subscribe button. Please do click like on this video and I will see you all in the next one.